we look at the cognitive as the uh, the caboose on the train, you know, on the experiential train, and uh, and sometimes the co and the cognitive sits back and kind of observes, and then the cognitive may offer something at at the end of the process, you know, or the cognitive may have no need to do that and just kind of stays offline. Hello and welcome. My name is Vincent Ryan. I'm a psychotherapist based in Ireland and um, today's interview is a part of a series of interviews we're doing with uh, practitioners of experiential forms of psychotherapy. So in this series we interview a wide variety of experiential therapists. So it's a compare and contrast the thinking and techniques of different experiential schools. So then without further ado, um, just a little bit, our, a bit about our guest today. So we have David Grand, PhD. Uh, he's the founder and developer of the Brain Spotting Modality including the recently revealed neuro experiential model. So David is the author of Brain Spotting, the revolutionary new therapy for rapid and effective change. And he has a psychotherapy uh, and performance practice in Manhattan, New York. And he is an internationally acclaimed lecturer. So David, you're very welcome. And thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you so much, Vincent, for having me. Great. So maybe we could um, just begin by kind of talking about what we had a couple of emails about, which is, you know, the, the idea of a therapy being more experiential or kind of experientially grounded than, say, perhaps what we might traditionally think of as a more cognitive therapy or a more talk therapy. Could you say a little bit about how you might conceptualize your own form of therapy, um, the brain spotting approach? And is that which, how do you think about it in terms of experiential therapies? Uh, well, I'll start by saying um, the basis of brain spotting is the uncertainty principle, which is derived from neurobiology and the fact there's not too many facts that we know of in, in therapeutic uh, theory and practice, but it is a fact that the human nervous system has between one to four quadrillion synaptic connections. Very hard to wrap your mind around what a quadrillion is. But it, it's if you multiply a billion by a million, you get a quadrillion. So there's one to four uh, uh, quadrillion synaptic connections in the nervous system. Simple mathematics tells us that is an unquantifiable number. Okay, that is that's that level of complexity to a system is beyond knowable uh, in in any way. So the idea that when you sit in front of another person and they sit in front of you, that you can really know what's going on inside of them uh, is, is a mathematical and a scientific impossibility, which puts the therapist in a position of having to receive 100% of their information from the client, from what the client uh, expresses verbally and also what comes across uh, you know, non-verbally. Um, and in the context of the uncertainty principle, the therapist can do nothing other than follow the client wherever they go. Okay. To me, that's essentially um, ex experi uh, an experiential process. Um, that it's not just that we're not coming from a cognitive point of view, which we're not, but it's that we're coming from uh, a, a, a position of complete openness to the other person uh, not just for who they are, but from where they come from, where they are, and really, and, and where they go in the process. Uh, that leaves a tremendous open space for the therapist. Which